Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton, and we get to do something really fun today. We get to learn about bats and birds. Now, I'm guessing that you probably already know a lot about bats and birds. So I want you to hit pause for a moment, and I want you to think about the things that you might know about bats and the things that you might know about birds. Okay, everybody hit pause. Okay, did you come up with some things that you know about bats? So let's take a look here at this picture of bats. Can you see that this bat on the left, see the bat on the left there? It's actually not one bat, it's two. That's a mama bat with her baby bat. And mama bats give birth to live babies. They don't come out of eggs like birds. Here's another thing I noticed in this picture. Do they have feathers? Bats don't look like they have feathers, do they? Bats actually have fur or hair. Isn't that kind of cool? Ooh, so I'm seeing bats and birds are very different from each other, but I do know they both fly. So bats and birds both fly. Most birds fly, not all, right? Okay, let's see, what else could we notice? Let's look at the birds over here. Birds have babies that hatch, hatch from eggs. So we know that birds don't give birth to live babies. They give birth to eggs and then the eggs hatch. I bet you can see this birds over here. This bird has some very pretty feathers. And it also, I can see it has a beak and almost like claws, we call those talons. Ooh, we've got another picture of some bats here. What did you notice here? Does it look like one of those bats has a belly button? <laughs> they sleep hanging upside down, don't they? So these bats look like they're resting very nicely, hanging upside down off a tree branch. And how do birds sleep? Birds sleep in a what? Say it if you know it. You got it. Birds sleep in a nest. And you know what? Mama birds have to feed their baby birds. I'm sure you've probably seen birds flying around looking for worms, and then they go share those worms with their babies. Where mama bats actually provide milk for their babies. Did you know that? Bats drink milk. How funny. Oh, this picture was so cool. I had to show it to you. Look at this. Here's a person and a bird, and a bat. So a person has bones, so does a bird and a bat. And bats actually kind of have hands like us. Do you see how it kind of has like fingers? Whereas a bird really doesn't. It's kind of fun to see. Okay, here's one of the best things. We get to watch a cool, video on bats. Let's see. Oh, you're not supposed to see that yet. We're supposed to watch the video. Let's see if we can get it. Get ready for things you want to know. What creature has pointy teeth, is most active at night, and sleeps hanging upside down? Bats. Sometimes mistaken for shape-shifting bloodsuckers or vampires, but only three species of bats feed solely on blood, while other species feed on insects, fruit, and fish. Bats' unique taste buds aren't the only thing that makes them special. They also have distinctive prints on their wings, like human fingerprints. There's no mistaking one bat from another. There are over 1,300 species of bats found around the globe. More incredibly, one of them is named the world's smallest mammal, the bumblebee bat. Bats are the only flying mammal on Earth. And did you know that these furry flyers are also pollinators? They help supply us with some of our favorite foods, like bananas, avocados, and mangoes. Birds, bees, and butterflies pollinate plants during the day, then bats and moths take over the night shift. Most bats are nocturnal, foraging for insects like mosquitoes, beetles, and moths. They're like a nighttime pest control. 
A common bat can eat over 3,000 tiny bugs in one single night. And during the day, they seek shelter to rest. Caves are the perfect habitat because they have high ceilings to keep them out of reach from most predators. Some caves can have colonies of up to 20 million bats. This gigantic crowd doesn't stop bat moms from finding their pups. Using their unique voices and scents, moms can easily locate their babies. Like humans, bats have voice recognition. Even more amazing, bats navigate by echolocation, which basically means they can see using sound. Hopefully, this has busted some myths and fears you may have had about bats. Instead, we should celebrate them for their natural pest control and pollinating powers. Now that we've gotten to learn about bats and birds, let's see if we can make some matches. So up here, you'll see I have the word bird, and I have a picture of a bird there. It's an eagle. And then over here, I have a bat, and you can see the picture of the bat. Now, down here, I have all kinds of pictures, and we're going to try to match the picture with the correct creature. So let's look at this picture here. This word is, read it with me, sit, sit. Okay, so I'm looking to see which creature sits on a tree branch. Would it be a bird or a bat? Okay, tell me, what do you think, bird or bat? All right, I bet you're saying bird. A bird sits on a tree branch. Let's see. Now, next up I have, what is this picture? This looks like a beak. Who has a beak? Would it be a bird or a bat? Let's see. What do you think? Tell me where I should put it. Did you say bird? There we go. We're going to put it with the bird. Okay, now, guess what this picture says here. Let's read it together. K a v cave. All right, who lives in a cave? Would it be a bird or a bat? Okay, on the count of three, everybody tell me who lives in a cave. Is it a bird or a bat? One, two, three, tell me. I heard you. You said a bat lives in a cave. That's right. Or they sleep in a cave, I should say, right? Okay, who has a hand that's kind of like us? Would it be a bird? or a bat. Let's see. Are you telling me it's a bat? You probably remember that from the picture with the bones. Remember when we were looking at that? All right. Who lives in a nest? Would it be a bird or a bat? On the count of three. One, two, three. Tell me. You said bird. I know you did because I'm sure you remember the picture of the mama bird feeding her baby birds. And the baby birds were in that nest, right? All right. Who has a, what's this picture showing us? It's showing us a wing. Who has a wing? Would it be a bird or a bat? Well, we already saw that a bat had a hand, right? So a bird would have the wing. That's right. Okay. Who hangs upside down? Let's see, this picture is showing us somebody who's hanging upside down. So who hangs upside down, a bird or a bat? Okay, on the count of three, ready? One, two, three, tell me. Bat! Okay, and let's see. Next up, we have fur and feather. Okay, who has fur and who has feathers? Hmm. Let's do feather first. So who has a feather? Would it be a bird or a bat? That's right. You got it. It's a bird. And so that means who has the fur? You got it. Bats have fur. All right. Let's see here. Instead of a beak like a bird, who has fangs? You know that already, right? A bat has fangs. So I'm going to match it here in the bat with the bats. Okay, now our last two are moon and sun. And so I want you to think about when birds 
are most active and when bats are most active. So who's most active when the moon is out? Who's most active when the moon is out? There's a special word for it. Do you remember the word nocturnal? That means animals who are nocturnal are mostly active at night when the moon's out. And guess what? Bats are nocturnal. So we would put the moon with the bat. And that means the sun goes with the bird because birds are usually active during the day. You can, if you listen closely, you might even be able to hear the birds chirping outside my window. Or if you listen closely, maybe you can hear the birds chirping outside your window. All right, kids, this was really fun. I thank you for listening along with me and making a match with birds and bats. I'll see you next time. Bye.